I started making my own makeup after learning about the vast amounts of chemical ingredients used in conventional cosmetic products. Just a handful of the many toxic ingredients which can be found in store-bought mascaras include PFAS, parabens, formaldehyde, synthetic dyes or even tar from coal, aluminium powder, propylene glycol and synthetic fragrances. Activated charcoal will be our colorant in this recipe and the amount of charcoal can be adjusted for color preference. I share a color guide in the description below along with the full recipe. To make a brown mascara, you can substitute half of the charcoal for cacao powder. Other natural colored powders can be used too to change up the color of your mascara. For instance, spirulina can be swapped in as a replacement for activated charcoal to create a green or blue mascara. The beeswax in this recipe will help to make the mascara waterproof. I prefer to use beeswax pellets rather than a beeswax bar as it makes it easier to measure for small amounts. The beeswax will also help keep the mascara from running and the bentonite clay will prevent it from smudging. Clays are often used in homemade makeup recipes to help absorb excess oils, preventing any smudging that could otherwise occur. If the mascara is too thick, you can add in more glycerin or aloe gel. Just make sure to only add a very small amount at a time until you achieve your desired consistency. If the mascara is too thin, you can add in more clay or beeswax. Again, just add a very small amount at a time. If you have particularly sensitive eyes, omit the essential oil. I personally like to add rosemary oil into this natural mascara recipe for its lash growth benefits. But be careful when applying the mascara to your lashes to make sure the essential oil does not get in your eyes. To make this simple mascara recipe, start by placing a heat proof bowl over a small saucepan filled with a little water. Set the saucepan over medium heat to create a double boiler and bring the water to a boil. Then, add in half a teaspoon of activated charcoal, a quarter of a teaspoon of bentonite clay, one eighth of a teaspoon of glycerin, a quarter of a teaspoon of aloe vera gel, and one eighth of a teaspoon of beeswax to the bowl and stir regularly until the beeswax has melted. Remove the bowl from heat and allow the mixture to cool slightly before adding in one to two drops of rosemary essential oil, if you're using. Then stir to combine. The texture of the mascara should be smooth. If it is not, just add in a little more glycerin. Transfer the mascara mixture to an empty mascara tube and store in a cool, dry place. To use, apply the mascara to your lashes as you would a normal mascara, taking extra care not to get any in the eyes. If needed, wait 5 minutes before applying a second coat. If any mascara does make its way into your eyes or you experience any irritation from wearing the mascara, wash it off immediately, rinse your eyes under running water and cease use. If curling your lashes, I found it better to curl the lashes first before applying the mascara so they don't clump. To remove, loosen up the mascara with a little coconut oil and gently rub it away using a washcloth or makeup remover pad soaked in a little warm water. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you try this recipe out yourself and what you think, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.